my big aha with exercise and weight loss and what the connection is. All right. Years ago, I worked out a whole bunch. I got pretty, you know, lean, whatever. And it was, I was preparing to go on a trip and I wanted to look cute and all that. I w it was so, I guess I was pretty buff because this guy in this, in the gym I was at came over to me and said, are you a lady cop? Okay. So my husband loves that story. Anyway, it's, it was kind of, and I was like, wow, okay. Let's go on the trip, come back. And I'm eight pounds heavier. And I didn't eat crazy when I was on the trip. I mean, I ate more than I was eating as a keto worker outer person. And I was like, it was, I felt so defeated. I'm like, God, all that work. And this is, I, here I am. And, and it, it made me, it made me go, this isn't right. This is not a reasonable trade-off. All that work, all that effort, and to come back having regained eight pounds so quickly, not even like, not eating way more than, I mean, I was definitely not eating more than the other people I was with, but I'm the one who gained the weight because the biggest indicator of weight gain is a drastic diet, crazy amounts of exercise, and then stopping. That's where weight gain is. So I realized I'm not committing to that kind of a life where I work out this much, I'm this tired all the time, and I can't eat the foods I love. I decided no. I decided that in the year 2000. I went, no, I'm not doing that. That's not worth it to me, and it's too much of my life. And we, we think nowadays, we don't even comment on how weird it is to be so focused on our bodies. And, and I like being at my happy size weight. That's a good thing. But it's a moderation thing. Like, I don't think about it. I don't count calories or count macros or count reps or any of that. That stuff is gone from my brain. It's a waste of life. It's a waste of joy and energy. What isn't is getting in a routine where you use the, the beautiful strength of habit formation to gently and calmly get yourself in a reasonable exercise routine that does not deplete you, but that energizes you. Now I'm older than probably a lot of you guys, so my workout is gonna be more gentle than yours maybe because when you're older, you don't recover as quickly. And so I don't wanna sit around for three days after I work out going, oh, I'm so tired. So I work out, I play tennis a couple times a week, fairly intensely, meaning that we're running around, you know, we're not just standing there playing doubles, we're doing single stuff and running around. And um, I lift a little weights, do some like balance poses because that's really good for us as we get older too, or if you're younger, and tw twice, once, twice a week. So four times a week I do something and it's not vicious like it used to be for me. I was used to be a vicious exerciser and I know you, a lot of you guys are out there where I'm just going to do 10 more reps of the, uh, okay. Unless you're turning to be an Olympic athlete, I would tell you that it's not worth it. It's, it's not worth it. It's not a life that you need to lead to be very happy and calm and at your happy weight and enjoying the food you love. Another thing I want to say real quick is that exercise does not burn as many calories as you think it does. So, you know, we all have these apps and stuff and blah. They never say that you're already going to be burning calories. Like if you go on an elliptical and it says you burned 400 calories, well, you were already going to burn 160 because you were just living and breathing. So it's the difference between 160 and 400 that you burned. It wasn't the whole 400. You know, I, I really hate that because I, I used to really focus on that. Anyway, so moderate, moderate, moderation and common sense. Friends, let's bring that back into this world. Moderation and common sense. And do not overexercise because that depletes you and makes you super hungry. To be an intuitive eater, you want to key into hunger, but throwing yourself massive, massive amounts of hunger because you're really exercising a lot and makes it a lot harder. And in it, again, I just say I love exercise. Exercise is really important. I'm about to go play tennis right now, so I value that. But what I have learned in my wisdom of going through this life and seeing a lot, and I was a fitness instructor, by the way, for a 20 years I saw all this the people who, who did the best were the ones who did the best meaning who maintained and were happy and, and seemed seemed like their lives were in balance were not the people who came every day and busted a move every day they were the people who came three times a week and were happy and did their thing and if they were sick they didn't come the people who came when they were sick because they're still gonna work out those people burn out and fade away and what you want is to set yourself up for a life that you can sustain and intuitive eating is very sustainable it is so pleasurable it is so magnificent that's not too big of a fancy of a word for this or too dramatic it's not it's fantastic and exercise where it energizes you and doesn't deplete you we do not need to beat ourselves up unless you're on a football team or something or whatever but for us normal people going around having a full life with lots of other things you're thinking about and kids and whatever and, and work and all those very important things. Don't take this huge hunk of yourself and go, this is my anger. No, be gentle with yourself and it all works out much better.